Today you have your very first stats video, so we're starting uh, the S1 unit and this is quite a short one to get us um, going. So we are looking at types of data. So first of all, we can have qualitative or quantitative. Now qualitative is talking about descriptions and it also often re is represented visually in categories. For example, you could think about colours of cars sold or types of computer games played. Those things would be categorised. They wouldn't have numerical values. Quantitative, da quantitative data has numerical values. And they, they are discrete, where it's usually counting numbers, so counting how many of something you have. So you would have exact values. Or continuous, which would be usually rounded values within a range. So that's things like if you're measuring your height, you wouldn't measure you your height as being an exact value, say 157.68 centimetres, but you'd round it to a nearest number, and that's on a continuous um, scale that you're looking at. So we'll just have a little recap of bar charts. And here we have an example of a bar chart where we're looking at the mode of transport for getting to school. And this group of students was surveyed and these are the results of um, how they got to school. And we've got frequency up the side with these bars for each of the categories of car, bus, uh, walk or bike. So some things to notice here. Bar charts are for discrete data, so those individual categories. They must have gaps between the bars and the bars must be of equal width. They're really only useful for reading off values. Um, we can easily read the mode from the uh, bar chart. It's the value that occurs the most often. So in this case we can read off that the modal method of transport for getting to school is by bus. Now bar charts aren't actually particularly useful when it comes to AS maths but uh, it's a good starting point. We'll move on to some more useful things in the next video.